Happy weekend, everyone. September 19th, Saturday, and then pick a card for September 20th, Sunday. We're going to work on Saturday first. And for the September um, 19th babies, there's your reading. And for tomorrow, September 20th birthdays, we'll do those next. Okay, so... Um, if you're new to this, you pick a card which, which will resonate with, with you mostly, but I pull them all together because this is collective energy for everyone, okay? And then we'll do Sunday. So let's start with Saturday. Okay, so if you pick card number one for today, Saturday, September 19th, we have the Lover's card. So that's a major arcana too. Lover's is coming in focus. That is an important card for the day for you. Um... When we look at lovers, we're talking about matters of the heart, okay? We're talking about um, sometimes it's contracts. Some of us, you know, it's work. It depends. It's something that it's, it's, it's important to the heart. And this is also indicating sometimes it's a decision to stay or to go. Um, I feel that there is a good energy here. It's like if you really believe in what you desire here, your uh, dreams may come true is what I'm feeling here. But you need a little bit more motivation, protecting the heart somehow. And I feel you need to deflect a little bit as well. So that is an important um, message that came through here. I also feel that there is an ending coming through here too. There's transformative energy, okay? It's an end of a negative, negative cycle somehow. And something, it's transitioning and coming to something new. If you pick card number two for September 19th, Saturday, the Magician, another major arcana, okay? So here we have the Magician. Magician is definitely, you get a lot that you do want and desire. All that you need is there before you. Sometimes it comes in an expected way. Uh, problem solving, um, as above, so below, very nice. What I do feel here with the magician, though, you're going to have to really nurture what you are taking care of and hone into some skills. Um, this is whatever you love, desire. There is a sense of even responsibilities that come with it. So you really are responsible to manifest what you do desire today. Um, I feel also this is um, needing to be more aligned physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and that will help you. So alignment is coming through here calming yourself down and a healing energy is what I feel through this as well. It's a yes, yes, yes too, but those are the energies that came through with it. If you pick card number three for September 19th, Saturday, you have the Hermit. All three major arcanas, important day, okay? So the Hermit, this is the card of wisdom, feeling alone. Sometimes we retreat, want to be alone, or we're just feeling lonely. Sometimes this is just the card of learning, knowing to trust your intuition, wisdom, us learning, mentors may be around. But I do feel you may have to kind of adjust your energies um, uh, today. Okay, it's like trying to juggle too many things. And then it's like, you know, taking care of yourself or maybe even being alone will recharge you a little bit. With the hermit, there's something that we learn. It's wisdom. It's uh, following our intuition too. You need to be, I feel, really open to any kind of possibilities, okay? Um, for some of you, maybe you're just that this way because you need to express yourself. There's a, there's a sense of connecting spiritually here and trusting, trusting yourself, the universe that you're being led. So that energy does come through strongly here. Now, when I pull them all together for Saturday, September 19th today, we have the lovers, the magician, and we have the hermit. All three major arcanas, very important, okay? I do feel there's going to be some kind of um, um, unexpected energy, okay? There could be um, sudden changes, turn of events. We could be a little overwhelmed. We need to integrate a little too. Taking our power back is coming through. You know, if someone does criticize you or is a little jealous, I feel that is where it's surrounding us or someone living vicariously through us, you know, we just have to take it with a grain of salt, okay? Take your power back. Um, know your own truths in all these areas that I'm feeling here too. Manifestation is high too here and connecting spiritually. You need to be very um, positive in um, receiving um, information. Um, and don't, you know, don't listen to naysayers is what I'm feeling here too. Only um, good, positive um, um 
uh, talk and also self-talk, positive, okay, communications, uh, your comforts, um, your will to create today is coming through too. Um, there is a release of traumatic emotions and being healed, I feel, here too. It's very, very um, possible coming through here too. It's like strengthening um, energy is coming through, supportive uh, healing energy, um, physically, you know, trying to, and emotionally and spiritually trying to kind of, uh, shield yourself from any kind of negativity. Okay. So protecting yourself is kind of coming through here. Don't let anybody put you down somehow. It's like insulating, shielding yourself. Now I do also feel this is a very strong energy here because we have three major arcanas. There is a sense of uh, prosperity here. Okay. It's like, you know, enjoy the fruits of your labors. It's a time of great wealth. Um, whether it's, in money, um, emotions, love, um, prosperity is here. But remember, things don't always last forever, okay? So put something aside for a rainy day and enjoy, like money or whatever it is. Don't overdo anything. Um, basically, we're looking at trying to create some harmony, okay? Um, when you're like in harmony with the universe too, because these are major arcana, so the, they're really trumped, uh, trumping the reading here. Um, all things are going to go your way. You have to trust as above, so low, so below with the magician. When you aren't in harmony, everything is a struggle. You don't want to get to this. Okay. So inner wealth is more rewarding, um, and peace and plan for the future, but you will need support from those around you too. You can't do it all alone and from the universe. All right. So that is the reading for today, September 19th, Saturday. And now we're going to start for September tomorrow, because I don't do readings on Sundays. Um, September 20th, Sunday. If you pick card number one, you have the seven of, let me push these up now. Okay, I'm going to need some room. You have the seven of, um, you have the seven of wands, swords. I wanted to say swords. Okay. So the Seven of Swords is showing up. Um, you're going to get a lot done, but then there is always, you're just making progress. You could be going through red tape. Some, sometimes there can be um, a sense of, I don't know, competitive energy, or we're sometimes just struggling with um, getting on the same page. It's like standing up for ourselves, okay? For some of you, um, this is maybe someone says something. It can be the truth, um, but they can be harsh about it is what I'm feeling here too. Okay, there's a sense of magnification. Something is magnif um ma is going to magnify, and but the resolutions are possible, possi are a possibility, and also gaining some more clarity. Okay, you need to be filled more with understanding and a little bit of more focus. All right, so that did come through. If you pick card number two for Sunday, September twentieth, you have the page of wands. Page of wands is um a message, um news coming in. Um, a new idea, sometimes dealing with a child. I feel for a lot of you here, there is truth. May, something may come in, some news or a message, and it's going to great, uh, gain more clarity. It's like the truth will set you three, uh, free, so uh, so to speak. Um, there's a victory here. It's like just knowing that is coming through. Endings, new beginnings, new um, powerful uh, path. Um, sometimes it's news um, that's going to be like amplifying something. Okay, I see uh, like a climactic energy coming through, but you need to be grounded. There's a healing energy here too. You need to also be connected physically and um, emotionally to a higher vibration is what I'm feeling here. So that's going to heal you. You have to like um, make those affirmations or pay attention to some messages from the universe is what I'm feeling here as well. If you pick card number three, you have, for Sunday, um, September 20th, you have the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands indicates this could be uh, thoughts of travel or travel. Messages are going to be very important. There's a yes, yes, do it, okay, um, energy here too, what I'm picking up. Um, there is a sense of strength to you that people will see you uh, stronger, um, gaining more clarity through putting things together and messages. So I do see that energy. It's like making some kind of connections. You're evolving somehow. And wisdom. It's like a lot of wisdom is coming through, okay? And know that you are really connected to some kind of divine source and some kind of information. So these are spiritual messages coming in and um, information as well as what I'm picking up here too. So when we pull this together, we have the seven of uh, wands, we have the page of wands, and we have the eight of wands. A lot of wands here. 
This is a lot of creativity, a lot of thought, but we need pentacles sometimes to make action, right? So um, here there is like a lot of thoughts of something. Maybe we want to create something, do something, but we they, there's a lot of responsibilities here. So just know what you may be getting into, okay? Um, I do see um, that, again, it's almost like I feel a hermit energy coming through here too. We're thinking things through. We're learning something as well. Um, but we're still confused. We may be dealing with some kind of delays, okay? It's like we have to make our thoughts more clear and more focused, okay? Because there is transformation. Um, from what, Saturday we go into Sunday, there's transformative energy. We need a little bit more concentration and um, clarity. Um, I do feel also manifestation is very high, okay? So that is uh, showing up, releasing what uh, no longer serve, serves us and also healing. We're constantly filled with like, new healing energy from the universe. So we have to take advantage of that too. Cooperation may be key today to making those connections and some kind of adjustments and alignments. Okay. We have to give and receive um, help uh, and be helpful and cooperative. Uh, cooperative. That is something that comes through, to, uh, comes through too. So cooperation creates more stability, releasing, um, also any old or outdated thought processes, processes that no longer serve us so we can move forward to feeling more confident standing up for ourselves um and stable in the midst of transformation okay so like cooperation is keys i feel here harmony strength all of that there's a sense of something is increasing okay even coming from saturday going into sunday um things will be getting better but you must be very um clever in what you do with your increase of thoughts or action or creativity, whatever it is, don't squander things, invest wisely in both time and people, okay? And kind of try to enjoy this time because there is progress that's being made, okay? Now is a good time to capitalize on whatever like ventures you are seeking to succeed in. You have a go ahead, like yes, yes, yes. You can go forward with it, with a lot and complete it with confidence too, okay? This is a good time for progress as well, all right? So that was the reading for sad, uh, Sunday, September um, 20th. So tomorrow, check in so you can review Sunday again. Okay, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. And yeah, now we're going to go to starting with September 19th, babies. Or if you know someone born today, September 19th. Um, this is your reading. Make a wish. This is the wish card. So Page of Wands is, ooh, that's even in the an energy reading. So Page of Wands is your is your um, card for, for the solar year theme. So what we're looking at here is messages are going to be important, some maybe significant news coming through. You could be dealing with children, new thoughts, new job, new beginnings, new paths, okay? I feel this is a year that you'll be coming into your personal power. There's a sense of needing to be um, flexible. You may be more, fle uh, flexibility is going to help you and high creativity here. You have to use your creative energy to adapt to all situations this um, solar year is what I'm feeling too. I feel delays may be um, there. There could be a lot of ideas and wishes, and I think several will come to fruition, but they will take some time. Um, when it comes to work, a career, or whatever you do most of the day, um, you're going. To, it's going to be a process. There's a sense of stand up for yourself where you need to, make adjustments when you have to. You may be dealing with a lot of competition, though, but you can get through, okay? So I do see that energy. Um, I do feel even with money, it is time to make some very, uh, you may have to make a, 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 an important financial decision that can alter a lot of things, okay? So it's... Um, Something that may alter a lot is what I'm feeling. Um, so make wise choices with finances. Okay, for some of you, if you have any debts in that, there may be a uh, you may get a notice in from court um, or a debt collector, and you're going to have to um, settle that. Is what I'm feeling as well, and then you're clear. I also feel this is a year where you're going to have to trust your wisdom. Um, you're going to be learning a lot too, because here is it's like you know we're starting off with some new ideas. There's a learning experience. This is a good year if you are in school or taking courses or studying something. So I feel that too. Um, if you're feeling lonely, it is time to start going out and um, and being with other people is what I feel here too. Um, I do feel with matters of the heart, love, if you're um, single, it's like you need to kind of let the past go. 
close up some kind of, you need some kind of closures and then you can move forward. And that's going to bring you more um, opportunities. I do see for some, uh, for couples um, that definitely, again, you need some closure, both of you in some kind of certain areas and leaving some things behind. So I do see that. You may have people and situations leaving you, um, people leaving your life this year. I feel they're, um, but they're no, they're no longer good for you. And I feel this is in relationships in general. I also feel that, um, yeah, it's a, there is a lot of more wisdom coming your way this year. Okay. Now for your soul or your wish, you have the nine of wands. Okay. So what does this indicate to me? Um, communication is going to be very important is what I feel here. And from the heart, you really have to put, um, this wish you have to plant the seeds now, and you really need to have more motivation, put in some creative touches, try it again and being more positive. You need to be open to new possibilities and a lot of experiences because there's some adjustments here and it's coming to fruition at that point. Communication is going to be important. So, um, that is what I'm feeling, um, how to make this wish come to fruition, but also it, it will take a little bit of time. Okay. Now the important numbers I feel for your soul year is one. That's all I got. Okay. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year. And now we're going to move on to September 20th babies. If you're born September 20th or you know anyone, this is a reading for you. Make your wish. We'll pull this at the end. Oh, by the way, I do offer birthday readings. They're on my website. People ask me that all the time. All right. Theme of the year is you have um, the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so what is that talking about? That's talking about you needing to get out of your comfort zone. Don't hold on to energy too tightly. Saving um, sometimes we just invest more in the home or what we need. Um, yes, it, there is a, sometimes it tells you, be careful who you do spend your time, energy, and money on. Practical decision-making for long-term is showing up here. So we are seeing that, okay? Overall, I think there is going to be something very exciting and happy that may happen in your life um, during the solar year. This could be a family gathering, a celebration, a party, a wedding. I feel a big celebration or something. There is happiness here, but we have to choose it, okay? We have to pick that. Um, I do feel you're going to have to trust your intuition strongly this year, um, creating stability. And maybe, you know, you're just worried about your stability and security. So stability, security, your intuition help uh, is going to help guide that. And gaining more clarity in some certain situations where you did not feel um, certain about, okay? It's like you, your connection to your higher self is going to be more important and that's going to help you be more calm and focused um, during the solar year. Um, when it comes to work and uh, whatever it is that you do most of the day, finance, uh, not finance, at work and career, I do see a lot of people's opinions. Um, they may be giving you some kind of opinions what to do. It's something that you need to eliminate. Um, this is, again, you um, confusing yourself. It's like you you can do it. Maybe you're just, um, it's a self-talk. You don't trust yourself, okay? That's what I'm, I'm feeling as well. For some of you, you may um, be contemplating a, a new job. For some of you, you may be thinking about an old job or something where you were and thinking going back. Um, that's one way I'm looking at this. This is also where you're going to have to really be, um, it's not going to be easy working with others. There's a sense of people's unwanted advice and opinions. Be careful if you're single or even if you're with someone, this, this can indicate, um, an affair, having an affair or a fling with someone at work and it's not going to turn out pretty. Okay. Um, that is one thing I just saw an image of that as someone out there. Or this could be a partner too. So I do see some kind of um, cheating or betrayal is possible and it's got to do with the workplace. That's not for everyone. Now, for your finances and your um, you know, money, I do see you need to find creative ways to make money is, going to, is, is really um, very important here. For some of you, it's like dodging some kind of investment where you, maybe you... Just say you've always been smoking and you notice that now the money has been so expensive, you add it up during the solar year. Um, for a year, how much you spend on cigarettes, you could have put that money away. So some of you are going to be 
quitting something or not investing in something that you did. And that's going to help you build some more finances. Okay. I do see for a lot of you, you could be making money in, this is a thought of a creative project. Um, starting uh, starting off something it's like a hobby but it takes a little bit of time um learning teaching is a place to make money too is what i'm i'm picking up here for love and matters of the heart um i do see you, some of you are dealing with karmic energy this is uh karmic loves um there is someone that may be returning from the past and you have to be careful with that or there's a um a return of energy here where Past situations may repeat themselves. Um, I do see that if you're single, you may meet someone who reminds you of someone or there's a karmic connection. This could be a past life connection or it definitely is someone that maybe you knew as a child. Um, went to school with and, you know, when you were young and you kind of reunite and that turns into love is what I'm feeling here. For others that are in coupled relationships, there's a repeat of patterns here. Um, children may be an issue as well. If you have children, for some reason, you may be, um, you may be having, having some difficulties with children, although it'll kind of affect the, the, uh, partnership. Um, there is a return of energy here and that's all I'm going to say. It's a very general reading. So this is an old pattern or situation may return. So we're seeing that that you have to deal with, um, for others, this is maybe wanting to have children expanding for some reason, children are coming up here very strongly um, for you, okay? All right. Now, for it's like stress and worry and get the sleep that you need. I see stress, a lot of stress and worry, okay? Can't hold on to energy too tightly. Your soul or your wish. Okay, so it's a high priestess. This is definitely a year you're going to have to use your intuition, Whatever your wish is, keep it more to yourself. Maybe there's something more to it that we do not know because we have to be careful what we wish for sometimes. I feel you're going to have to make some kind of a choice and you're undecided which way or how to make this wish come to fruition or how to try, um, how to word it or make that affirmation, okay? So speaking clearly is going to be important. Some of you are doubting that this will come to fruition, you're going to have to be um, grounding yourself more, unifying yourself somehow and how you make your affirmation and heal something before this can come to fruition. Uh, you need to find balance by listening to your mind and your heart at the same time and that will help you bring this to fruition, okay? It's going to take time. There's delays because you have to kind of clear your energy before it comes to fruition, all right? The number I feel is important for the year is the number 11, okay, for your solar year. All right. Be open to all kinds of possibilities, too, is, that, is what I want to say. And I want to wish you a very happy birthday tomorrow and a wonderful solar year. All right. And for everyone else, have a wonderful weekend. Come back tomorrow and review um, Sunday. And bye for now.